All right, man, what you got? What are your questions? Okay, so um, I'm starting this. Uh, I'm starting the master's program, uh, but they only have it in the morning. Yep. So should I just move the uh, interval swim to the afternoon and do the, uh, like, 100 CSS and breaststroke swims in the So you, you're not going to – when you get – like, so when you start going to master swim, you ain't going to have to do nothing but that master swim that day. Okay. So if, you, if you're going twice a week, can you float? Yeah. Okay, so you don't have to worry about drown proofing and all that stuff. So what I would tell you is just, like, take the master swim program. Like, if you're going to go to master swim, when you go do that workout, because it's going to be like 3,000, 4,000 meters. Like, it's okay. not going to be easy. It, like, it, like, your heart's going to explode probably the first three or four workouts you go over there. Because we really don't, like, we're not swimming that much when we swim at 1,500, 2,000. Like, swimmers swim 6,000, 8,000 a day. So mm -hmm. um, when you go to master swim, normally they swim 2,000, 2,500 to 4,000, just depending. So you should be good with just going to them. And the whole thing is you go to them to help you get your speed down, right? Like what's your fastest 100? Fastest 100? Uh, I haven't – I mean, I usually do like – Probably around a minute. Okay, so so a minute is flying. If you're on 145 intervals, there's no way you're doing a minute 100. I, I Honestly, I haven't timed a minute. I haven't timed 100 swimming. So, I've only, so have you just been swimming intervals? Yes. So you don't worry about, okay, so you got to be cognizant of what your lap times are. I am. So I, I do like – I get back 115 and 30 seconds, so it's 145 interval. That's how it's supposed to be done, right? Okay, okay. So you're getting back in 115. Yeah. Okay, but you don't add 30. Like, when you first start, you should have, like, what was the first interval you swam? It was, like, 205. Okay, so you should have been 205, and that sets the interval. Then yeah. you should have just been taking five seconds off of it. I did that, take five. Okay, so I, each week you took five seconds off, right? Yes. Okay, so, so normally what happens is, okay, then, then you should be at 140s this week, right? Mm hmm Like, if you're swimming 115s, you should probably be down to interval-wise, like 135s, 140s. So, the, I thought it was 30 seconds of rest in there. Nuh-uh. The 30 seconds of rest is only on that first set when you, when you set in your interval time. Okay. After, gotcha. after that, just subtract five seconds a week. Got it. Okay. And then you have to swim faster to get more rest. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, we, we don't always – like 30 seconds of rest is too much to really get fast. Got it. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay, so drop. Don't worry about you, – you just you already got your interval time. You're already 140s, one, 145s, and you're swimming 100, uh, 115s. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you just got to keep dropping it down a little bit like – I got a kid right now that's swimming 130 intervals, okay, okay. 125 intervals. He swam a 104 today. He's flying. Yeah. So, like, but, but I tell everybody, like, you probably going to swim sub nine minute right now at 115-hundreds. And that's what, we, well, that's what we're trying to get. Okay. All got right. it. Yeah. Uh, do you – oh, wait. Because um, I swim in a meter pool. So, do you know – and I know – doesn't matter. Matter? Doesn't matter. You swim 100 meters, that's good. Because you'll be, you'll be short in the 100 yards. You swim 100 yards, you'll swim 500 yards for the test, so don't worry about it. Just bang okay. your stuff in meters. That's fine. Got it. Sounds good. What would be a good time to be getting for the three- and five-mile runs? So you don't have to – don't, it, none of them are for time. The okay. three- and five-mile runs aren't for time. Okay. You just jog them. Got it. Like, like their re total recovery and mileage runs. Like, we're just running them to run them. We're not trying to get faster in them or anything. Like, if, you know, like I, my, du my dude's running 32 minutes, five miles. What are you running five miles in? It's about, like, 40. Okay, so 40. So, so that's going to be right there at eight-minute miles, which is fine. Okay, got it. Just making sure. I didn't know if that was supposed to be improving each week as well. Uh, you should see it improve, but you may. Where do you measure your improvement on? My my most improvement has been in the um, one point five mile runs and the five hundred yard swim. 
Okay, so what I'm saying to you is, though, you know the time tree? Yeah. That's where you should measure your distance. Got it. So what do you, you know what you're running in the time tree right now? Yeah, uh, actually, I'm, that's, I'm kind of struggling with that. It's like I haven't been able to get three miles yet. I've been like okay. 2.7. It's been, it's been increasing each week. I started off like 2.5. Okay. Then I'm at 0.6. Now I'm at 2.8. Okay, so that's all that's going to happen. All right. It ain't going to happen overnight. You ain't going to become a world-class runner overnight. Yes. So that's the, as long as you're seeing that improvement, that's what you want to see. Mm -hmm. And if it takes you six months to get it up to, you know, three and a half, like my wrestling dude started off at 2.8. He's running 3.7, I think, or 3.8 now. Got it. Okay. That's right. so, so, like, that's, all, that's how we measure our improvement. How far did you go in the time tree? That's all we want to know. Because if, if the time tree is slowly creeping up like that, that means it's, your training is effective. Yeah, very effective. Okay. Are you eating pasta? Are you eating enough pasta? Yeah, pasta and chicken three times okay, a day. Okay, that's fine. So what I would tell you is just slow down your three-mile, five-mile runs and just understand that those are recovery runs. We're just trying okay. to do them for mileage. Got it. That's what, I, that's what I've been doing, but I didn't know if I was slacking on that or not. No, I mean, dog, you got to train, train to be smart, right? Yeah. I'm going to tell you like this. This program makes people fast, swimming and running, period. And that's all we care about going to buzz. No one get kicked out of buzz for push-ups, sit-ups, or pull-ups. So worry about running and swimming. Okay. You're going to do 2,000 push-ups a day when you get there. I yeah. don't care how bad you are at push-ups. In about two weeks, you're going to be good at it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What else you got? Um, I would just – I don't really got any questions other than that. Okay, so those were the major questions you had on email? Yep. Okay. All right, you got any off-the-wall questions you want to ask? Off-the-wall. Where's your honey badger background, dog? I changed my background because you had a honey badger chasing a fox. Oh, that, was, that was just my email background. Oh, your yeah. email background. I got you. I changed my background. From from civil wood background to uh, the real life background, I like the honey badger. I didn't know you could change your background. That was just yeah. That was just you're on your phone, phone, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On your phone, you got to be on a computer to be able to manipulate your background. All right. Okay, gotcha. so look real quick. When are you trying to go to Buds? After high school. Okay, and what what grade of high school are you in right now? I've just. Finish my junior year. I'm going into my senior year. Okay, so you need to join a wrestling team. You where? Where are you going to school at? Manchester High School. Where I've at? been on. Uh, it's in Virginia, Central Virginia. So you got wrestling? Yeah, I've been wrestling. Okay, you've been wrestling. Yes. Okay, awesome. That literally is the number one defining factor in your success. Everybody yeah, asks me and all this other craziness. How'd you do wrestling last year? Record was like fourteen and five. Okay. So I would tell you to bury your face in that wrestling mat all winter, right? All you play football in the fall? No. Okay, so now I would tell you to get a wrestling partner and wrestle all fall. Okay. And get good. Because that will help you as SEAL training more than anything else will. Why is that? Uh, because it develops grit. Okay. Is wrestling easy? No. <laughs> no, it sucks, right? Every day in the SEAL team sucks for the most part. It just there's a large suck factor that everybody thinks they're going to something glamorous, but you digging ditches for a living, man. So digging ditches is hard work. So that's why I tell everybody go wrestle. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. And you're not going to college. You're going to go straight in, correct? That's the plan. Okay. Are you going to do delayed entry? What do you, what's your plans right now? I have not talked to a recruiter yet. I just want to, I'm trying to get my PST scores up. Okay. That's but fine. So here's what I'll tell you. I will go into the recruit. Everybody wants to go in early and do all this stuff, right? When you go in there and you can run a nine nine and swim a nine, right? Run a nine, swim a nine. Yeah. They will take you immediately. Okay. So you literally could go into recruiter today. They they give you the physical at maps. Yeah. You pass. You go to the dive motivator a week later, or the special operations recruiter a week later. You take the PRT and you bust an eight forty five, eight forty five. You know, you do 60-plus push-ups, 60 sit-ups. We want 100, 120. But if you bank 60, 60, and 15, they're going to let you go to Buds immediately. 
Okay. So that's why there's no rush to get into all that. But like, once you get the PT scores, then it's easy. Yeah, I've, my, the swimming is my strong suit. That's okay. that, that's my best PST score. Um, Push ups, I'm struggling in. My pull ups are at 14. Okay, that's fine. But uh, in a meter pool, my 500 uh, meter swim, I, I got a 715 this last Sunday. I, I swam it. Okay, you swam 715 side stroke. Yes. So you, you swim a 500 meter or you fight, swim 500 yards? 500 meters, which I know is less. No, it's more. Meters is or meters is? Meters is more than yards. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's not. <laughs> you you're a junior in high school, right? Yes, sir. And what am I? Uh, I'm, I'm not an sure. Old man with a master's degree and a naval academy degree. I will bet your ass right now. So you put your ass up for a paddle, and I will bet your ass that meters is longer than yards. You want to look it up? No, no, I ain't got to look it up. Yeah, you you got to you got to man up right now and bet your ass that meters is longer than your are. Yards is longer than meters is what you said, right? You said yards is longer than meters, correct? You can't look it up. Pick your hands up. You can't look yeah. it up. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I looked it up after I swam because I was – because I'd never timed myself for that before. So you think yards are longer than meters? Yes. Okay. You're going to lose that one, Griffin. That's a bad one. It would – so how far is a hundred? Let me ask you this: Is a hundred meters longer or shorter than a hundred yards? Well, if 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 yards are longer, I would say a hundred meters, right? <laughs> so look, man, a hundred meters is a hundred and ten yards. You got it backwards, bud. Okay, got it. So you swam a seven fifteen, which is probably a six forty five. Really? Yeah, because it's like literally you're swimming 500 yards, so it's 50 yards shorter. So it's a whole down and back shorter. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Do the math. Like, let's look it up. I'm going to do the math for you. I'm going to go to the meter converter right now. Okay? Because it's 500. is a lot of them. Okay, meters to yards. Okay? A meter equals 1.9 yards. Just so you know. Okay, let's see. We want yards. We're going to put in yards. We want 500 yards. Yeah, I was right. 457 meters. Okay. So it's like a whole lap shorter. So you just take off. Like, you probably were swimming 30. Like, if you swim at 645, you'd be groovy. Yeah. You swim? I swam my whole life. Okay, so then I, you ain't got to worry about swimming that much. You don't need to go to master swim program. Are you got paid money to go to master swim program? There's been like summer league stuff, nothing like crazy. I don't care. Do you are you got to pay to go to master swim program? Yeah, but it's not very expensive. Okay, so then I will go because yeah. it can only help you get ready to go to Bucks. Because mm -hmm. what'll happen as soon as the wrestling season's over, we'll start kicking with fins and we'll start doing all this other stuff to get you ready for Bucks. Okay. But I'm getting ready, like so. I'm filming all these because I'm getting ready to drop this massive master class online. So. Got it everything that you need to, to graduate buds successfully be online in a video. Okay. And all yeah. this stuff is just going to be like, I'll be able to use this to like answer questions for everybody. So yeah. you had some pretty specific yeah. questions. Go ahead. I pretty a video like this on YouTube is how I found you. Yeah. 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 Cause it's all I do. Right. Yeah. Like, cause there's nobody out there really answering questions like this on specific stuff. Mm -hmm. And like I just had a kid hit me talking about is my training program overuse and too much and I said man listen man we running 25 miles a week if it's too much it ain't you ain't made for this life yeah so, I'll, go I ahead had, it was the opposite problem like I felt like I like my scores were were way too low and I felt like I just wasn't doing enough training to get to where I needed to be and now you're doing less right because you were running a lot before correct more now with your training program. Okay, you're running more? Yeah. Okay, but you're getting fast. Yes. That's all that matters. How far are you running on the weekend, on Saturday morning? 12 miles. Okay, so you had 12 miles already. Yeah, I worked up to it um, uh -huh. before I started it. Yeah, absolutely, bro. You're fine. Like, 
Like, I would tell you this, you probably can go between eights and twelves. You ain't got to run eights every weekend at this point. I mean, I'm sorry, you don't have to run twelves every weekend. You can run eight and twelve, eight and twelve. All right. Give your body a little break. Like, I don't, we, we, the only reason we run in twelve is to, to have that long chain endurance. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, and if you're getting faster, that's all that matters. The, my, I got, my runs are slow, though. I'm at, like, a 10-minute pace during the whole time. I don't care. They're getting faster. You can't be. If you ran five miles in 40 minutes, that's an eight-minute pace. Yeah. But you're saying the time tree's going up, right? Yeah, speed tree's going up. So don't worry about anything. Okay. Just worry about running as hard as you can on the time tree. How many 400s are you doing on Fridays? I'm doing eight because okay. it said eight. How, how long ago did I send you the program? Well, I started it. So I'm on week four now. Okay. Uh, but I had, I did two weeks beforehand, then my family went out of town. Okay. And then I, and then I, started, I just started over again from, like, week one, and now I'm on week four. Okay, that's fine. So here's what I would say. Um, so the, the Purdue track dude gave me a new program for 400s. Mm -hmm. He said start at three and add one a week until you get to 12. Okay. So I don't not think, eight, huh? So not eight hundred? No, no, no. You should be running a four hundred. On on this it says it says eight hundred like a four hundred meter sprint and then Yeah, four hundred meter. meter job. Okay. It said eight 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 hundred meters, so I was just confused. I wasn't sprinting all eight hundred. No, you just run you sprint four hundred and jog two hundred. I mean four hundred. So you yeah. sprint a lap, jog a lap. That's what I've been doing, yeah. Does that not say that? It says it says eight eight hundred meter runs. But does it say sprint four hundred? Yeah, it does. It does. It does. Okay, then that's what we do. Got it. Yeah, it's the Brenda Martinez workout, the world class four hundred or eight hundred meter run. That's her deal. So what's the new plan with that? It's the same plan. It's just start at three and work up to eight. If you're doing eight already, just keep doing eight. Got it. Yeah, and here's what I'm gonna tell you: don't change nothing because you're getting faster. Yeah, definitely. Maybe not be happening as fast as you want it to happen. Um, have you thought about running cross country this uh, this fall? No, I have not. Okay, you might want to think about running cross country. Okay. It'll help you with wrestling. All the wrestlers I know ran cross country except me. I played football. I couldn't run. Okay. Got it. All right. Anything else, bud? Nothing else. Thank you so much. Hey, easy day, man. You got my email. You got my cell phone now. Just... If you got questions, it's easy just to send me a text message. And if you got something like this and we just jump on Zoom and bang it out, all you're going to do is help everybody else with those same questions, you know? Yep. Okay, you got anything else you want to ask? I'm all good. Thank you so much. All right, Griffin. Keep kicking butt, man. Yeah. Later.